Okay, now I'm going to show you something that, unlike the drinking water, we have another water which is an 11.5 pH. We call this strong Kangen water, okay? We use it for some different things, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we use it for most often, which is cleaning our produce, okay? And right here I have some tomatoes from the local shop up the street. I'm going to put a little bit in each cup here because most people are washing their produce with tap water, right? That's at least what I was doing. And most people when I ask, they're doing the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use this tap water, just like everybody does, to clean this batch of tomatoes. And with this batch, I'm going to take our 11.5 strong Kangen water, and I'm going to place that in this one right here. Okay? Now I'm going to take some sesame seed oil, and I'm going to show you what's going on with these tomatoes here. This is dark sesame seed oil. I'm going to put a little bit in each cup here. In basic science, I'm sure you all probably know what happens when you mix oil and water, right? Actually, they don't mix, right? So that's oil and water. Now I'm going to take our Kangen water, strong Kangen water, 11.5 pH, and I'm going to take it, put it in this oil, and you'll see, I guess they do mix, okay? So I actually just emulsified oil on contact with water, which is pretty amazing, right? So imagine what's happening when you're drinking the 9.5 inside of your body. Okay, you saw the pictures of the colon. So now what I'm going to do is take these tomatoes, shake them around just a little bit, and these are the ones I washed with the tap water. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to dump this into here. Now wouldn't you all agree that's how you've been eating your tomatoes? Probably your whole life, right? So whatever came off, that's usually how we would eat our tomatoes. Well, not anymore, because once you see this, you might change your mind like I did. Here's the one I washed with my 11.5 Kangen water. And what in the world is that, is what I wanted to know. Because I know it's not green tea, right? I just basically was able to take some things off of those tomatoes that I wasn't able to take off with the tap water. So what is that? Well, it's oil-based pesticides and herbicides. So now that we can emulsify oil with water, we're actually able to get that off. Because when the farmers spray their pesticides, they only spray them once, right? So they make sure that it's an oil base, so every time they irrigate, it doesn't wash off the pesticide. Well, that's great for them, but that's not great for us, right? Because would you drink this? I mean, you have to be crazy to drink this. But actually, you're eating it every day. It's on pretty much everything that you're eating. So when you come to a live demonstration, you'll get to taste the tomato. And I'll tell you, it's pretty amazing the difference in these two tomatoes here. So that's what we use the cleaning waters for. Also, in addition to the produce, we actually can emulsify the oil with water so it becomes the best degreaser in your kitchen. It's a great multi-purpose cleaner, right? We can clean our floors, our countertops. I use it for my laundry detergent. It's the best stain remover I've ever seen. And it's nice because the only residue is water. So that's a little bit about the cleaning products. Now I'm going to show you more about how this SD501 works.